the headquarters of YPC, Young People's Chorus of New York, and we're working on a piece, Dancing Voices, which will be part of a White Light Festival in New York City. I was asked to do a, a concert with a group of young people in Belgium. It was a Belgian chorus. And so I just went through my material of, of my music over the years and, and tried to find a program that we could weave together that would be very nice for the young people to sing. Because there were, there were kids in that group from, I think, about 9 to 15 or 16. When I did it with the young people in Belgium, I immediately thought of YPC because we had had such a wonderful experience working on sections of Three Heavens and Hells, and I loved working with them. I mean, just it's, they're extraordinary. Francisco's extraordinary. I was not surprised at how good they sounded when I walked in, um, but I was surprised at how involved they are and how much they love this music, and they're just diving in the deep end and so receptive and so motivated. I've been teaching children since I first came to New York, so I was 21 years old. I always loved teaching children, and I always, uh, I always gave them permission to be themselves you know, to find their own creativity. That's something that's very important to me. I mean, I gave them technique, but I also gave them the freedom to really find out who they are. And they responded to that right away. You know, go home and just get somebody to clap for you and really try to find your own, like, what is your movement? I can see today that I'm going to have to really work with the kids on being more aware of, say, walking and space. Space is something also that a lot of uh, people are not trained to deal with as singers. Um, my early training was Dow Curls Eurythmics, and space is such an important part of that, and I've always taken that for granted, but I realize sometimes you actually really have to teach that to people and, and show them that space is such an ally. I don't really see a separation with the voice and the body. They're, they're one process. It's the breath coming up through the body and out, and I think it's very difficult to be standing still and singing. I mean, I think that just the body also wants to dance. I think that today you noticed that I was also talking about focus. Focus. Don't look around, Isabel. Look straight out. Look straight out at me. Well, as soon as I focused their eyes, everything changed. It was like very powerful because that's a, a, a plague is a kind of scary section and you want it to be that. So. It, I don't know if you noticed, but the, as soon as those eyes were focused, it was s twice as powerful. So I love giving them those kinds of fundamentals. That was, that was very good. We're really getting there. This, especially this group in the middle, it's like, okay. <laughs> this music education that they're having, they will have that for the rest of their lives. That is what we need in a society. So for me, it's absolutely a joy to work with them. Yeah.